Okay, what's going on, boys? I thought, let me go over FC25, the meta tactics and how they would change, and the best tactics of this year. We're coming to, well, it is the last week in League by the time you're watching this video. And these formations, we can never play them again. But I thought also give you an insight on FC25, how these formations changed. And um, we've got this tier, tier list. I don't really like, I like how green should be like the S tier or the A tiers, the best tiers, and then red should be the worst. But anyway, uh, we're following the masses here. Um, you've got um, want to lose D tier. Um, not unusable, but I would say it's not really a meta formation or it's not even a decent formation. We've got decent, we've got good, still meta, meta. And then we've got the... S tier, which means shoe in Japanese, which apparently means exemplary. Learn something every day. Um, and S plus tier, which is pro level. Think about the four, two, three ones. There we go there. Um, but let's start it off now. The four, five, one. Now, dynamic tactics have been here since FIFA 19. This is like the first year now in four years when they've changed tactics completely. Um, now, this formation could probably even go in S tier. This formation um, is a very good, I would say, defensive formation to hold out the game. Maybe you could argue something like a 4-3-3 with two CDMs is better because those CDMs sit deeper. Don't forget, you can never do cut passing lanes anymore instructions on those CDMs. Next year, you can't do that. So the AI help, you're not going to be getting it as much. So I'll probably put this down to it's still meta. Um, a very good formation to close the game. It has a unique purpose to close the game out as opposed to use as for the whole game. Um, but it's very, very good. You've got one CDM, two center mids, and you've got that bank of five in the middle. Then we've got the 4-4-2 second variation. In my opinion, S tier meta. The only difference between this and the 4-4-2 flat is the 4-4-2 flat is better because you can press. But from a defensive standpoint, this is a very good formation. If you want a halfway point between the 4-4-2 flat and a 4 triple two. It's this formation because you have the two CDMs and the left mid and right mid. You can put instructions like get in behind, come back in the fence. Now, next year, this formation will be very interesting as well because with left mids and right mids, you could have them, for example, as inverted players. You could basically play this as a typical setup with two strikers. Um, so you could do a false stun. You could do something special. But for this year, I'd probably say Esther is still one of the best formations. It's just a different variation of the 4 4 2. Then we have. The 4 2 3 one, I think it still has to go in S tier pro tier. Listen, the reason why it's not used as much, the truth is, it's just not attacking enough. The game is forcing you to go down the wing, cut the ball inside because finishing is so bad, and do a cutback as opposed to going directly to the middle. Yes, you can run past the middle. I'm not saying you can't, but the formations where there was one strike, it, it doesn't really have that case. This is the formation you should be learning, by the way, as you get into next year. Because next year, this formation with the cam can be a shadow strike. And you've got the inverted wingers that can go in on free roam. This could be a very, very good formation. Um, the 4 2 3 one second variation. And this one in particular with three cams. Because well, don't forget, next year, you can have three cams, right? And a striker. So you can actually put these players on... Um, you can actually put these players... All three of the players, actually. All three of the cams. You could put them as shadow strikers. So... This could be something very much that we haven't really actually thought about um, and actually used. So this is actually definitely a mess there formation. I would say the use case of it has probably gone down. It's more of a formation to close the game out as opposed to a formation you use the entire game. But it's still up there. Don't think just because no one is using it. I still use this formation. It's still amazing. Um, it still has to be in that tier. It cannot be any lower than that. Then we've got the 4141. Now it's rose to popularity. In fact, if you go back to my FIFA 19 videos, um, the oldest video I put on my channel was um, I did like an RTG. I just like it was like an RTG. And even though I could get, I pretend to get 20 wins um, because I wanted to show progression in RTG. And I was like, this is stupid. Why am I doing an RTG? Because like, um, for those who don't know, when you're an RTG, it's more entertaining if you're watching an RTG, for example, for someone who starts at like, I don't know. Let's say in old division systems like Division 10, they go forward like a road to Division 10. Um, but anyway, I would always, when the FIFA 19 came out, when they changed tactics, I used the 4 4 1 1. Um, in fact, both of these formations, there's also the 4 4 uh, 1 1 second variation. I always forget which one is a cam, which one's a striker, but I'm presuming this one is the cam variation, the 4 4 1 1. Um, well, I think it could be just anyway. Because even though numbers make sense, they've messed them up sometimes. Anyway, one has a cam, one has a center forward. That's the difference. Now, if any of you watch my 4-2-3-1 videos, my actual 4-2-3-1 tactic videos are not actually a 4-2-3-1. They're actually a 4-4-1-1. The inspiration was taken from the Arsenal Invincible season. And I liked in FC, you had like a striker and a center forward behind them. Kind of like how Henri Burkham used to play in Invincibles. So every time I did a 4-2-3-1 video... 
it was actually made for 4411. The reason why we use the 4231 is because you didn't have CDMs and the CDMs you can use the cut passing lane instructions. So you couldn't really do that with some of these formations. So I would say the one with the cam, I think is this one will go to still meta because it still is a 4231 in shape. I understand that, but I think the one with the center forward is probably the one, in my opinion, one of the best formations. 421 second variation, we talked about that. That's the one as I explained very early on. We'll come back to that formation um, later on, but I think it's still a meta formation, maybe even better than the 4411 with the cam, just because you have left mids and right mid. In fact, they're very identical. It's more, it depends. You want to be, this is more defensive with CDMs, more attacking. Um, some, some people say it's S plus tier. I think it's a bit, you know, it's an argument for being, for being S plus tier. I'd probably even put it something like this. The 4411 is more of a flat formation. Center mid to a bit higher. Better for pressing, I would say, this formation. Um, let's just go for a different one. We're going to go with the 433 third variation. Now, this formation next year is very interesting because what you could do now, this is basically how the this is basically how the 433 is laid out. Uh, let's just say, for example, like this. In this variation, you got the something like that, and you got the back four like this. Now, what you can do next year is you could put these two players as center mids. You got two center backs, two center mids, and you could, for example, put the cam as a shadow striker, and you could put one of these players, for example, as um as a half winger. So you could actually have in, in fact, you could have a front six if you really want. You could have a 2 2 6 system with this formation. So, this is definitely a formation to look out for next year, not this year. But I would still say it's probably still meta. I think it goes um, at the back, probably just about over here, roughly. Um, I still think it's a very good formation. Um, I don't, I just think with the lack of the CDMs, you know, it's basically a 4 2 3 1, just is a bit more aggressive. That's just the way you got to look at it. Um, but I think the overall balance of the formation is probably a tad bit too attacking. That's why it goes into still meta, not into meta. But this can be debatable. This is my opinion. I mean, if you use 4 4 uh, 4 3 3 4 3 religiously, you might think differently. 5 2 1 2, um, in my opinion, has to be S tier pro meta. It's kind of sad this formation is going, you know. Um, I remember there was a time in FIFA 19, I was actually speaking to someone that was going actually to the pro player that was actually. Um, thinking about using a 5-2-1-2 and I'll explain to them the benefits. They didn't use it in the end, but FIFA 19 was where this formation was the real meta because I was trying to explain to this individual that if you go down the wing, you're basically unmarked as we know it, the flying fullbacks as I call it. Uh, back in those days, no one knew about it. No one really talked about it. It was very, very rare. You only saw them like in FIFA 17, some firebacks, but FIFA 19, firebacks weren't, weren't common. Long story short, he didn't use it probably because he didn't want to... Um, he didn't... There's actually two people I was speaking to about it, actually. Um, probably one probably just thought, who's this guy with 10,000 subscribers telling me about this? But anyway, um, the left back and right back, because they're unmarked, you can do the L tornadoes, cross the ball in, that's where it was effective. It still is the best formation, in my opinion, to make those left back and right backs completely unmarked. They're just in their own lane. Ever since I've released that video, it's probably been the best. You're going to see a tactic on that very, very soon. It's the last time you can play it, by the way, this year, because next year, there's going to be no 5 2 one, 2 They don't go out and they don't stay in their own lane so if you haven't tried this formation out this is your last year to do so you got the last few weeks before they change that formation forever so remember that um then we're going to go over to 41212 i think it's s uh, i think it's a tier i think the use case of it it's not i'll put it just before here i would say the use case for it is not as you see I like to look at the 4-1-2-1-2 as a 4-4-2. All this is, if you compare this formation, this formation, or let's say a 4-4-2 flat, you have one centre mid being a cam, which makes it more attacking, but it also rocks the balance of the formation up. It's very attack heavy, but on the count of attacks, you can be very weak with the lack of that centre mid. So that is the only reason why I'd probably go into, it's still a meta formation, don't get me wrong, I still think it's a very good formation, um, but I don't think it's in the S meta tier. Um, I still think it's a very good formation, still meta, but it's not the creme de la creme. I mean, should I even call this meta? I'm going to still gonna call this partly meta. Because people, people are going to say, oh, Meta's a top, the creme de la creme. So I'm like, okay, fine. 3-4-3. Uh, three, three. I wish they had the 3-4-3 three, three diamond formation. They do not have the 3-4-3 three, three diamond. Why, EA? Why can you not have the 3-4-3? Three, three? It would be one of the best formations inside the game. They have it in pro clubs, but not an ultimate team. 
don't know why. Um, I think it goes into good. Um, the problem is, is that I feel like the midfield is just too empty with this formation. Yes, you could bring a centre mid forward, but then you got formation at the 3 5 2. Out of all the three back formations, this is probably maybe arguably the worst in my opinion because a left mid and right mid, the right next to left wing and right wing, unless you're doing that style of play, I think it's good, but I'm not going to put it anywhere further. 4 1 4 1. Um, this is the one with um, the CDM. I think I did I not just go over this already. I'm sure I went over this formation. If I'm not mistaken, but that's it's got a midfield of five, very very good for a defensive formation. I probably say for its use case to close out the game, it probably goes there. In fact, maybe you can argue there's two tier lists: one for attacking, one for defending. But let's just go for overall here. Four five one. Now this formation next year, next year might be this. Okay, next year. Um, but for now, it's good. Unless you're using it to go down the wing, because the left back and the right, the left back and the left mid and the left wing are so close together, you can have a three versus two down the wing, guaranteed every single time. Um, but the reason why this formation could actually be insane is because what they have is with a four-five-one. Let's say this is a four-five-one setup, right? Um, so we've got a four. We've got a. We've got the technically it's like this. Next year you can do the the full backs inverted make this player a half winger make these two players shadow strikers and um you can make these players go forward and you end up having a, a front six again so this is one of the few formations next year that has actually it looks like a face actually but yeah a bit of moustache as well um and interesting anyway like i say this could be one of the formations next year that's a six striker formation set up so this is actually one form formation for the future remember this remember this this is a formation for the future because you can also make that center mid into a half winger. So technically speaking, yeah, you could have six players in the attack, but that one striker soul, even with the cameras being shadow strikers, it's not as effective. Maybe they'll change that. Who knows? 4 one 2 on 2 second variation, I think, has to go in S tier. I think it's still very, very good. I think in other iterations, it was very, very good. This year, just because of how closed off the narrow approach is, um, yes, you could technically put the left back and right back inverted, play them as center mids. I don't think it's the same. It's not the same as it once was. I I think it has to maybe go here. I think this would probably be even S tier pro ease mode if it was another FC. But I think for this year, it has to go here because the, you need width this year. You Without width, you're just... You're going to suffocate yourself in the middle. There's nothing really to do um, on the on the narrow areas. You need someone on the wide areas, a left back rabbit when they go forward. You might as you might as well use the five two one two, which is basically the same system with the lack of the CDM, but you have more width. So if you like this formation, but you want width, you should be going with the five two one two. This is this is why this is the four one two one two, basically, um, but just the OP variation of it. If this is basically when it's like the butterfly chicken in Nando's. And this is basically the half chicken two breast. Um, if you know what I mean. If you're from the UK, you'll know what I mean. Your chicken thighs and... Oh, sorry. No, sorry. That's the chicken thighs. That's a chicken butterfly. That's probably the best explanation. 442 flat. Um, I'd probably say... <sighs> probably the best. I think everyone's been playing the 4321 out of possession. It plays like a 442. So technically speaking, a 4321 defending is a 442. So this system is very good. It's always been the best formation, if not the best formation in any single FC FIFA iteration in history. Um, I think it probably is maybe even the second best formation this year. For pressing, second to none every single year. The best pressing formation inside the game. The most balanced. Um, the argument is the 4-4-2 second variation. The difference is you have CDMs. They sit a bit deeper, but that makes you lose your attack. So for pressing, this is much better. But if you like the 4-4-2 but you want it in between the 4 triple 2 and the 442 flat, then the 442 second variation is the one to go because you maintain the two CDMs and you can control left mid and right mid with instructions. So then we go to the 4 triple 2, which I think probably goes here at the end. I think it's very, very similar to the 442, just has CDMs. I would say these two are basically like very, very similar. It can be debatable. The 4 triple 2 you could argue, is more attacking, where the 4 4 2 second variation has got left mid and right mid. It's a bit more defensive. But then you could put instructions on them. 
depends on the right hands but that's the way that i will set it up i prefer it like that because this is basically a four this is basically a four two three one um with basically um one the camps becoming a striker so at the end of the day you can see the recurring thing when you have two center mids in the middle you're pretty much always good to go all the best formations i think have two center mids in the middle um if you can get two center mids and two strikers, whatever formation that is, it will always be meta in FC. Just from structurally, the importance of having two center mids from a defensive standpoint and the importance of having two strikers, especially in a game when the game is very defensive like this year and um, you've resorted to having two strikers or you're stuck. Two strikers, two center mids, in my opinion, always the best formation inside the game. That's my take. Uh, 4 3 1 2 probably goes over here. I think it's still a very good formation. More aggressive than a 4 1 2 1 2 second variation. Um, but, you know, maybe. I'd probably say it probably goes a bit, a bit further back just because of the way the meta is this year. I still think it's a very good formation, don't get me wrong. But when you're up against. If you're versing. Like, if I use this formation up against a Division 5 player. Okay, let's assume now the person might as elite player. If a lead player uses against a Division 4 player, Division 5 player, even Division 3, they're going to have fun. It's such a good formation to go directly in the middle. When you're talking about pro versus pro or elite versus elite or same level versus same level, this is where you're going to struggle with that formation. You need the width. Um, 4 one, three, two, I think it's partly meta. I don't think it's... This is a formation I haven't really used that much this year. I mean, I'd rather use the 4 one, two, one, two. Second variation anyway. Like, Why would I want to use this formation with a center mid? Um, I'd rather have that center mid being a cam. So I'd put it on a partly meta. I don't think there's a use case as much for that formation. But again, preferences. It could be a specific style. Maybe one of you guys play this game and you always get counter with your center mid. You're trying to look for that solution. Maybe you'll do that. The false nine. Oh, no, man, you know. Oh, man, I don't want to put this here, but I have to. Look, I'm going to be dead serious here, yeah? Okay, the false nine, it's not a formation for this year. It's a formation that's only good if you're like a top tier player. Like if you're watching this, like a lot of people that make these formation videos on the false nine, like and they're saying how meta it is, the guys that are playing it or the girls are playing it are top tier. They're like elite plus level is what I call it, elite plus. If you're using this formation in the elite division and you're just in the elite division, you're going to lose. I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, it's no point. Like, the problem is, like, the false nine, the actual center forward, it's not a striker. It sits a bit deeper. So, already in a game where you need two strikers, now you have one striker and that's sitting even more reserved. And then now you're relying on center mids, patience. Um, like... You have to be a top tier player to play this formation. I don't care. I'm putting this in good. I don't care what anyone says. I'm putting this in good. 4 3 3, um, I would say, is arguably better. No, sorry. This, sorry. This is the one with two CDMs, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check this. This is, yeah, this is the one with two CDMs. Okay. This is secretly undercover, the best formation inside the game for defending. Because you'll have two CDMs, okay? There's no other formation that lets you play a back five with two CDMs. I'm going to repeat it again, okay? Two CDMs and a back five, there's no other formation. Yes, you can argue the 3-5-2, but you see, when you have the ball in possession, the left mid and right mid, they end up going attacking. So there's no formation in possession where you could have a back five and two CDMs. In fact, I'd probably even put it here. In the right hands, I'd probably put it here for people. But someone's going to screenshot this and be like, oh, what the hell? Why is no put this over there? So i got to put it over there because someone's going to screenshot and they'll be like, why does this guy think it's good? But from a defending standpoint, because what you do is you put the center mid on drop between defenders. That way in possession, you have a whole back five and you have the two CDMs and then you put a strike on false nine. Closing out the game, it's the best. It's better than a five back because with a five back, you got two center mids. The CDM sit deeper. So for AI help, this is the best defensive formation inside the game. For the close out the game, I've always used as the best formation to close out the game. 4 3 3 third variation. Now, this is, I'd probably say, one of the better good ones. I'm not going to put it into meta. Like, okay, maybe in the right hands, it could be meta. I still think 
with one striker. Like, okay, you know what? I'd probably put it in partly meta because you're, you're isolated with one striker, but you got one CDM sitting and then you've got two center mids. As long as you trigger the center mids, all those center mids are on get forward or join the attack. Think of like a Bellingham type of player. You're relying on those late runs to get inside the box or L1 triggers for you to do that manually. Then it's a good formation. But I think just a standard this year, one striker... I mean, maybe I'd probably... I'll do some final arrangements at the end. 4-3-3 three, three flat um, probably is... I'm going to put that here. Now, people always say to me, what, what, Neil, hang on. The 4 3 two, one is meta. How can a 4-3-3... Three, three... Because the thing is, you have three players in the midfield. It's the same as the 4 3 two, one, but the left wing and right wing are just so far out wide. Even you put them on cut inside, they don't cut inside. They don't cut inside as you want them to not like next year next year you can have actually wingers actually cutting inverted wingers actually cutting inside um but th they just don't cut inside they're just very high the high the width the very very high now in real life you can argue on the best formations but inside fc not in my opinion not the best now the reason why the 4321 trumps this because the 4321 is very very narrow and um the, the the left center forward and the right center forward they're narrow they're in the middle. It's basically like a narrow 4 3 3. Um, almost similar to like the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation, except for you have three strikers. The fact that there's three strikers being even more overpowered. Uh, maybe you can even argue it's very similar to the 4 3 1 2. That's why you can see the setup of why I put the 4 3 1 2 over here. Um, but I would say this formation. Okay, you know what? I'll put it partly meta. I'll, put, I'll probably put it partly meta. 4 3 2 1 um, <laughs> has to go here. Just because the way the formation is laid out, I've noticed, but there's like a glitch in the game. Like it's the way the formation is laid out that when you're defending against this formation or attacking against it, the opponent always has one player free. And I think just a general, because if this had like a left wing and a right wing, no one would use this formation. But because you have the three players there together and because they're like this and realistically inside the box, they play like this. It's perfect because you got these players that can provide support when you need to. And then you've got three players up against two center backs. Or Because don't forget, most people are going to have a system like this where they've got a back for something similar like this. So all you really have to do is get the ball from your center mid to one of the strikers. And of course, you've got three strikers. You've got three routes to go to. And you can even go across routes. So to defend this with two CDMs, as difficult as it is because now you've got a two versus three unless you bring one of your center mids back and you've got a unless you duck a four three three so you do a four three three against four three three it's basically a three versus three and it makes it very easy for you to score against now all the top tier player needs is the ball to get to the striker's feet do a skill move and then go for the goal so this formation in its in its shape of how broken it is it's just it's almost like undisputed like how good this formation is should it be this good no they should have patched this years ago i don't know why it wasn't changed it should have been done years ago but it sits firmly at the top then we've got the 424 s tier in my opinion this is very very similar this is maybe arguably this is very very similar to the 442 flat people don't know this i don't know why they don't know this but um when i actually started using this a few years ago as my all-out attack formation but the left mid and right mid, they just sit a bit higher than the left wing and right wing. They still come back in the fence. They still help defensively. Um, I'd probably even put this before this, in my opinion. This is more defensive. Th that's the way that I'll put it. I think to be in this tier, you this has to be like the best of the best formations. Maybe I would even argue this goes here. This is my personal opinion. It's a tough one. Nah, I think it has to go S tier. This is the this this has to be. It's a tough one. I would say it has to be S S tier. I don't not that I care, but I'm just thinking about like if I was to look at this in the future, how could I not put this in S plus tier? It has to go there. Five four one, uh, partly meta. I think for its use case to close. No, no. Do you know what? This is actually much better. This is actually, even this year, this is actually much better. It's such a ratty formation. I hate it. Honestly, I, I, I refuse to play this formation. 
Like, I remember I was playing against one of them um, last year, like last year, one against my friend. I just refused to play this formation. Like, he was just playing an entire time. I would refuse. Like, this is just selling your soul using this formation. If you use what you sold your soul, that's what you're doing. You sold your soul and you just wanted the wins. Um, it, it's. I think it's probably got to go something like this, you know. It's five back. Four centre mid, one striker, the best formation defensively. The reason why I like the 4 3 3 third variation, though, as I mentioned, is because with two CDMs, you don't have that in a 5 for one but a pro player with a 5 for one is different gravy, to be honest. Has to go there. 5 3 2, I think it goes to S tier. I still think it's one of the best formations. Probably goes here. Five two two one. I think out of all the five backs, this is probably the worst one. I'm gonna put this under. I'm gonna put this on a party metal. Because I still think the use case of the left back and right back are just so effective. We're gonna come back to this in the end. Three one four two. I'm gonna put this in here. I'll put this just before this one. At least you got two strikers. This used, this used to be my blitz formation. Any remember my blitz formation? I actually had two. But yeah, three four two one probably has to go over here because it's the four three two one layout, but even more attacking. The only difference is you got the left mid and right mid, which gives you width. Maybe even not. Yeah, I would say that. Three four one two, which is basically you know what's going to be like this. And then 352 would finally be. That would be no final list. I don't think there's anything you want to lose. I think realistically there's nothing you want to lose. I think there's certain formations that I would question why you would use it. Like maybe... I think every formation is in the right category for the use case. Now, is 4 3 2 1 better? 4 4 2, yes. 4 4 2 better? 4 3 1, yes. 4 3 1 better? 5, yes. Is 5 2 1 2 or 3 5 2 better? Um, me personally, 3 5 2 goes ahead. Like CDMs, left mid, right mid, more involved in the play. And this formation, well, people always forget this. I'll, I'll never forget this, yeah? The 3 5 2, like this. It's a 4-2-3-1. So it's a 4-2-3-1 with an extra striker. It's a 4-2-4-2 four, two, four, two with a cam. And it's like a 4-1-2-1-2 one, one, two, one, two with, a, with a left mid and right mid. It's all the top tier formations in one. So if you're struggling to attack, this is the best attacking formation in my opinion. Like that, like that. Maybe like... Maybe like this. Maybe this goes here. But then from an attacking standpoint, but overall, no, no, no. I think the lack of CDMs. This in the right hands could go S plus tier. But I think I'll put this here. That's fine. Which one is better of these two? That's the better one. That's more defensive. 5 4 1, 4 3, yes. 4 4 1 1, 5 3 2, 4 1 2 on 2. This is a sticky one. Something has to go in decent, I'm thinking. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop this to decent. I'm going to call this specific use case. There we go. 4 3 3 fifth variation. 3 4 3. No, I think it's got to be there. It's got to be there. Out of all these formations. No, no, it can't be there. This is where 
I'm gonna have to reconfigure this kind of stuff actually. This has to go here. No, I, I gotta change this up. I have to. This is not. This is the four. This is the one with the CDM. Now this has. I have to change this up. I have to change this up. Okay, this line is okay. This one here, this is where things get this is the use this is where things get tricky. That's fine. Maybe like this. Maybe if I had to choose, maybe I should change this if I had to choose the formations I'd want to use. It has to be like that row. Three, four, one, two. It's only attacking formation. This is, this is, this has to go down, I think. Then what we'll do is we'll put the, see, this, see, this is where things get confusing. It has to be like this. Then I would use a 41212 first. Then I would use this one. Then I would use this one. Okay, you see, this is where things get confusing because that has a use case. That's not overall, but we're doing it overall. So, uh, see, this is where I've kind of messed this up now. I've actually met. I've actually messed. What I've done here is I've messed this up because now I'm doubting my 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 own opinion. So, because I'm thinking, okay, overall these have to be together. That's the more better one because I see the CDM. These are all right. These are all partly meta. They're not complete. Maybe we move this to partly meta. No, it has to be there. How could I have the formation? See, it's a combination of these two. This is where things get confusing though. So 3, 4, 2, 1 has to be there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave it like that because you know I could probably be left swaying and rain. I don't think there's any formations you want to lose. Maybe you could argue the three four three. Maybe some of the four three threes, like just <laughs> maybe the false nine. No, I would say no. This has to be. I'd rather use this. I'd rather use this than this though. The false nine would be one. The... the false nine has to go last. Okay. That will be my final list. That is my final list. I don't want to look at it because I know I'm probably going to change something again. But that would be the best. But remember, everything has a use case. Remember, everything has a use case. So this is not the best of the best. This is more of, okay... This is the best balance, but certain formations are in certain positions because they're use case. So for example, like a formation like um, the three, four, two, one, it may be overly attacking, but how how attacking it is, it's actually so good. You can't put it any lower. Um, so from that use case attacker standpoint, it stays there. But that would be 30 minute video. Jesus, I think that is it. That's a tier list. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm even having doubts myself at this point. But I'll say for this year, that'll be my tier list formation. Thanks for watching, boys. I'll catch you next one. Don't forget to sign up to my Patreon. It says patreon.com for slash no guys. Don't get better after one month. You'll refund your minus and nil guys guarantee. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, boys.